nice thing about cloud apps is that they're totally cross-platform. You can use them Mac and PC and Blackberry and Android and um, iOS. So let's talk about Dropbox and then I'll go into my, um, my issue about that. Dropbox is, is an app that basically allows you to have a hard drive in the cloud. A copy, a complete 100% copy of that hard drive sits on your hard drive. And so it's going to take up space. It's going, to, it's going to take up as much space as the files are. But what happens is you move a file into your Dropbox. Dropbox, it tickles the Dropbox to send a message up to the cloud to make sure that what's on your hard drive matches what's on the cloud. All right. Then if you've got any other computers or devices that have Dropbox installed, the cloud will talk to those computers and devices and synchronize your files. So for example, I've got a, a sample ECF, and this, anybody who has best case will recognize this. This is the sample that comes with best case. So I can move this folder to the Dropbox. Now, and, and so it's sitting on the hard drive of this window, on the window side. But it's also going to start talking to the, um, to the Dropbox server. Now, I, it's fast. I don't know that it's quite this fast, but let's see. All right, there's sample ECF. That was pretty quick. So now I can double click that, and these are the files. And these are the files. And I also have it on the iPad. There's sample ECF. So it's a pretty powerful tool, but there's a real problem, which is, do you want to move your client's tax returns unredacted into the cloud and similar documents that really are supposed to be confidential? Um, and, you know, I, I've done a lot of soul searching myself about this because it's tremendously convenient to be able to back up your hard drive to the cloud which is password protected, and, and then be at home and have your entire practice sitting at your home computer or your iPhone or your iPad. And really, I've stopped doing that because a, about a year ago, there was a whole problem with Dropbox and security, some of you may be aware of. And, you know, I, I just don't think that you can, you're, you can keep files in Dropbox. 24-7 and just let them sit there. Now, that said, I guess it's like the, uh, the three-second rule. You know, if the, if the piece of toast falls on the floor, can you eat it? it if, you're, if you're on your way home and you want to work on a file, can you move the folder over to the Dropbox so that when you get home, it's going to be there for you to use? And then, and then you just delete it from the Dropbox and work on it and put it back on the Dropbox when you're ready to go. Now, you, yes. How would it work with a network? So you got a server, you got a computer, you got different data. You know, you, could, you can use it as a volume and you can map a volume to it. So you can do that. And, and I, I think some firms do use it as a, as a server. I don't love doing that because it slows things down a little bit, but you can do that. You know, here's my take on this. I think as lawyers, we have to be mindful of this and we, we do have to um, think above and beyond the normal rules. But if you think about what would have to happen for your confidential documents to be compromised in the cloud, you would have to have somebody hack into your document, you know, beyond the millions and billions of documents that are on the cloud, or you'd have to have somebody at Dropbox compromise the security. And, and thinking about it, I thought, well, wait a second. We have cleaning crews come to our offices that are walking through them with confidential documents sitting on your desk overnight. And, and, 
and that doesn't seem to be an ethical violation. But as a community of lawyers, we are up in arms about Dropbox and cloud computing because it's insecure. And, and how many law firms lock away all of their confidential client documents in truly secure devices overnight? That's a rhetorical question. Thank <laughs> you.